Hello friends, welcome to iGeeks Blog YouTube channel. I am Nikhil and today I am going to setting up iPhone 10 by using an active setting features available in iOS 11. iOS 11 is a new feature, active settings, which copy all your iCloud keychains, passcode, Wi-Fi, passcodes and everything to your older iPhone to a new iPhone. The two things are required. The older iPhone must run on the iOS 11 and new iPhone has a pre-installed SIM card. So you can insert the SIM and start setting up on a new iPhone. So here I do have an iPhone 10 and iPhone 7 Plus. So I'm going to set up with this iPhone 10 by copying the data from this iPhone. So let me boot first the iPhone 10. So it will take time to boot it up. Once the iPhone 10 boots up, go to the home screen by swapping up for the down, select the language, region, and you can see the setup manual process. So we need to copy all the iCloud keychains and data from older iPhone 7. So just I'm going to unlock this iPhone 7 and you can see unlock to continue. So it's I'm entering the passcode and it's unlocked. You can see a pop-up over here. It's saying that use your Apple ID to set up your new iPhone. Tap on continue. While you press the continue, you can see and you can notice the iPhone 10 is waiting for other phone and just let me close get a close look you can see a kind of an image and iPhone 7 has a camera activated and round circle so you need to scan this image from this iPhone 7 camera and you can see that both are paid and the passcode you can give, use the same passcode which is on on older iPhone so I'm going to use it it's a 246 so I'm using it so it's now setting up your iPhone new iPhone 10 so it will take time and uh, maybe a five or ten minutes so I'm going to wait it for that so once the process complete you can see you can set up the face ID on an iPhone 10 so I'm setting up later so set up later setting up your Apple ID so I'm keeping this phone over here nearby to my iPhone 10 and I'll follow the process on iPhone 10. So once it's done, you can see the option that continue or choose other backup or don't restore. I'm going to restore, so I'll tap on the continue. So it may take few more minutes to set up the Apple ID. Agree with the terms and condition, agree. So location services, I'm going to enable the location services. I'm going to set up the serial later iPhone analytics I want I love to share my data with Apple so share data with Apple developers turning on the true tone display so let's continue over here on iPhone 7 you can see the message that your Apple ID now be used to set up your new iPhone so just tap on the ok over here and you can see that now my iPhone 10 is restoring from my iCloud data. So this may take a few more minutes or maybe a 10 or 20 minutes depending on your data plans or your Wi-Fi network speed. So let's wait for the process to get complete. Once the restore process complete, then your new device or I can say my iPhone 10 is booting up. Finally, the process is complete. So now I'm going to use this iPhone. So enter the passcode 2486. Continue. So you can see the message restore is completed. Tap on the continue and enjoy using your iPhone 10 or iOS new iOS device. Once the setup process complete, there is an option that okay, finally you can use a new iPhone. So I'm tapping on the continue switch button app. So it's in a general introduction that iPhone 10 has a new gesture. So I'm just, I know those gestures, skip it up, swipe up to get started. Finally, this is iPhone 10. I have just set it up this iPhone 10 by restoring it from my older device to a new device. 
Thank you for watching this video. Give a thumbs up to this video and please subscribe to iGeeks Blog YouTube channel to enjoy a lot many such videos. Once again guys, thank you. See you in the next one. Peace.